Second you invest in your hustle, the bigger it gets, the more the money going to double. First, you got to get money. In a world where one has places to go, people to see, and money to make, how does one find time to get all of it done? See, this is The Hustler for Show, and my name is Ryan Vernon. And can I share a story with y'all today? It's a story about a scorpion and a frog. I recently heard this story and it touched my heart, you know, it really did. Yet in this story, there's a scorpion. You know, the scorpion is going about his day and it crosses a riverbank. So the scorpion, you know, scratches their head and it goes, how do I cross this riverbank, basically? So it sees his buddy, Frog. Scorpion is like, hey, yo, Frog, hey, come and help me cross this riverbank real quick. Frog goes in their head, hmm. I can help you, yet I think you're gonna stab me in my back. Scorpion's like, hey, yo, come on, man. You think I will really stab you in your back as we cross this riverbank? We may drown. Frog, you know, hearing their point of view was like, mm, you got a good valid point. You know, we would drown if you stab me in the back as we cross this riverbank. All right, I guess I'll help you out. So, Frog is like, hey, Scorpion, hop on my back. And he crosses his riverbank. As the frog is swimming, it feels a prick in his back. And the frog, you know, it, it, the frog is scratching their head because they're like, you, you know what? The Scorpion would have stabbed me in my back, you know, because we will die. Maybe, maybe it was a fly or something like that. So Frog asked Scorpion, hey, Scorpion, you stabbed me in my back? Scorpion was like, yeah. And Frog was like, why would you stab me in my back? Do you know you doomed both of us to a faith of death by drowning? Scorpion was like, and I don't want to mess this up for y'all. Scorpion was like, I am sorry, but I couldn't resist the urge. It's in my nature. Mm. So last episode, I had to ask, are you a winner or not? Because once you understand you're a winner, Sometimes you play a game and go, wait a second. Damn, I thought everyone viewed life like me, but damn, maybe there are people who were just stabbing in your back as you climb to success. So much so that when I heard the story, I was like, damn. And so much so that when situations around that story come into my life, I was like, damn. I've seen this story in a way happen, not to them, but to me. So I saw that, like, when we hear about the story, I was like, wait a second, is this an actual story that people told? I'm over here being searching it. <laughs> I'm over here being searching it. Next thing you know, I find a Wikipedia page. Next thing you know, I'm looking about where the origin of this story even comes from. And then I learned of another story. So I'll share that with you now. It's about a scorpion and a turtle. Now, this time, you know, similar situation to the last story. You have the scorpion as the main character, yet you replace the frog now with a turtle. Same situation, turtles helping the scorpion cross the riverbank. And the turtle, you know, feels a prick in the shell. The turtle goes, wait a second, scorpion's my friend. Why would scorpion try to stab me in my back if one scorpion knows they can't penetrate my shell? So Scorpion, you know, asks the same, I mean, Turtle asks the same question. Scorpion gives the same response. And as I was reading the Wikipedia page, Turtle hits Scorpion with some wise words that, you know, sound pro pro prolific. Yeah, sometimes you just got to break it down and be like, oh, what's really happening with all these random words, you know, sounding like Confucius or something out here. <laughs> but Turtle says, truly, have the sages said that to cherish a base character is to give it to is to give one's honor to the wind and to evolve one's own self in embarrassment. Mm, powerful words, I guess. <laughs> Yet I ask if you're a winner because sometimes winners lose. Yet one thing winners do is learn from their losses. Shout out to this year and being consistent by posting on the 7th and 21st of each month. 
How do we be consistent? By focusing on the five E's. What are the five E's? Engineering, entertainment, education, entrepreneurship, and that last E, I guess we'll call it the ego. And all of that is to say, you could play this game that we call life or any situation that you push yourself in as a frog. You can see people for who they are and be like, nah, I'm not going to take all those self-assumptions that I have on that person. And then you can get stabbed in the back. And now you're drowning in a, in a riverbank. Or you could build yourself up like a turtle and be like, no matter what situation I'm in now, I know I'm protected. Sometimes in order to play well in this game of life, you need to go into it with protection. So much so, shout out to Kyrie Irving. Because one thing that I learned in life is that, you know, basketball is like a job like I be clocking in, clocking out. And that's only one aspect of your life. I remember working initially after graduating from university, it was like, dang, I'm really am defined by a job title that I have. That hurts because how can you define the hustler for sure in just one category, you feel me? There's so many layers to an individual, to me, that is like, how can you judge me based off a job title? Dang, that hurts, yet, I believe healed people heal more. Shout out to Kyrie Irving because even when the media, his job employer, even when everyone was trying to knock him down, he remembered who he was, a winner. And he remember he's still one of the baddest NBA players in this league, you feel me? Ooh, we Uncle Drew in the live, you feel me? That no matter what, he's a turtle. So why would he not view himself as a winner and keep himself protected throughout the whole situation? Dang. Sometimes you just gotta learn a story to help explain your story just a little better. Dang. Maya Angelou said, if someone shows them who they are to begin with, it's believe it the first time. But sometimes you gotta get hurt to understand that maybe these are just wise words that we should follow to begin with. Yet if you're ever hurt, why not heal? And if you heal, why not get strong? And if you're strong, then you don't need to change your nature. You just apply your nature to situations that complement who you are. I think about that last quote by the turtle giving to the scorpion about like one's character being able to blow with the wind and it's embarrassing. Because if you stay strong like the turtle did, then you see someone try to stab your back as not an attempt of hurting you, but seeing who they are to begin with. Sometimes you just got to point out who people are to yourself. You don't need to be going out and being like, oh, you, 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 because then that hurts your shield sometimes, you know, sometimes you got to do it. But again, I ask you, are you a winner? Because if you are a winner and if you're losing, maybe you just need to hear a story to help build you back up again, help you learn from the loss that you had. <laughs> Kyrie Irving always lost, but when you're the best, when you're a winner, you find a way to succeed. Because a winner never quits. And a quitter never wins. Yet if there's a will, there's a way. So find a way to be a winner again.
it's out to here when the 14 hears a hood out here so i don't want to get blown away by being in this garage for too much longer you know yeah i leave you with this and this is a reminder to y'all keep hustling y'all keep hustling peace